Indonesia faces a crucial choice on Wednesday in a presidential election that pits the old against the new. The contest could be the last chance for old-style politicians to lead the world's third-largest democracy and one of its youngest. Choice number one on the cards is the team led by former General Prabowo Subianto. Number two in the polls is Joko Widodo, or Jokowi as he's known, who's arrived on the national scene through local politics, the first candidate to ever do so. Many analysts believe the race is just too close to call. Until now, we still can't predict who will win. Looking at the trend, I believe it's going to be a very close fight to the finish. At 62 years old, Prabowo is making his third attempt to become president. He's backed by Golkar, one of Indonesia's two largest and most powerful parties. Once married to a daughter of former iron ruler Suharto, he was a trusted member of his inner circle at the time. His allies now include lots of people in the coalition of the current president Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono. Prabowo is also facing accusations over his past in the military. He's alleged to have ordered the abduction of pro-democracy militants towards the end of the Suharto era and human rights abuses in East Timor. Some also believe he was behind a failed coup in 1998 following the collapse of Suharto's regime. He's never been charged and consistently denies any wrongdoing. Prabowo's campaign pledge to form a strong and effective government appear to have appealed to many who want the status quo to remain as it is. By contrast, two years ago, his rival Jokowi was largely in the political wilderness. Now the 53-year-old has a following to make a film star proud thanks to his drive to give the most needy access to health care and education. Born into poverty, he stormed his way into the spotlight with a clean image and a reputation for competence in local government. Jokowi is widely seen as a breath of fresh air from the corruption-plagued power politics that have crippled the country for years. There have been concerns about his relationship with ex-president Megawati. Many fear she'll be the power behind the throne if he wins the election. It's an image Jokowi does little to dispel with his public displays of deference to her. But supporters of the young pretender say he'll not be anyone's stooge if elected.